This is Duke University. Technology is a key part of what makes the 21st century the 21st century. Uh, there are many things that we have available to us today that we didn't have 5, 10, 15 years ago. As a result, it's very important for us to be looking at how do we take advantage of that. How can some of the new technologies, especially those that dramatically lower cost or improve uh, effectiveness can be put to work in a development context. The, obviously the big gorilla in that space is mobile phones, right? And the way that that uh, uh, industry has sort of taken the developing world by storm, uh, sort of regardless of who you are, you seem to have a phone. It's not, it's certainly not entirely true and it's certainly not true that everybody who could have coverage is covered, so we, we still have a ways to go on those fronts, but we believe this technology provides a dramatically different delivery mechanism for uh, providing information, for measuring and monitoring uh, successes uh, and failures, looking at performance, finding ways of, of dramatically lowering the cost of understanding how to make development work. So it can be both a tool uh, to you know, to facilitate development directly and a, uh, a methodology to help us uh, make things go. For example, one of the things that we're very excited about is looking at the intersection of low cost uh, devices like a solar lantern, but realizing that even that low cost device is difficult for a poor person to afford. Other people are looking at, look, we can make, we can make micro purchases possible by connecting that solar lantern through a cellular connection and having people buy time on their solar lantern with a prepaid card. And they can buy it in incredibly small increments. That fits that model much better than come up with 10 bucks for a solar lantern. How do you make multidisciplinary things go? And I think one of the most important things uh, to me in, in doing that is as a party to any kind of collaboration, you have, to be, you have to really know what you want. To be a good partner, you have to be very articulate about what's important to you. All right, now, yes, you also have to be sensitive to and appreciative of what's important to your partner and try and find that intersection. But if your partner isn't articulate about what's important to them, it becomes very difficult doing a Venn diagram when you only have one circle. <laughs> so, so finding that overlap is, is, is necessary for relationships to continue over a long period of time, but people won't be able to do that if you can't be articulate about what's important to you. We know as donors, we can't fund our way to success. It's not possible. There's not enough funding. You take all the donors and put them together. It's still not enough. So how's this going to work? It's going to work because the people who live and operate in those local environments are going to adapt and change to do things that are sustainable and are uh, effective development tools. And so that means the local government, it means the local private sector, it means local organizations of any kind all right, are going to have a stake in making that go. And the private sector is a part of that. It, it is not the be-all and end-all to every solution, but it is clearly a, an important part of that. One of the things that's incredibly important for anybody interested in working in international development is to understand the developing world. You have to uh, experience it. You have to be a part of it. Uh, you have to uh, live it. Uh, that is really, uh, it's really important because we can think about it, we can study it in books, um, but without that direct experience, uh, you're really missing a really important element of your own ability to measure and evaluate what's important here, what should we be doing. Um, uh, but I also say that around any of the innovators that I work with, you have to understand your customer. It's always about the customer. 
uh, it's, that's just so critical and fundamental to success in this space. And so if you're interested in international development, understand that market and be a part of it.